Hello everybody, and today we're going to talk about triangular foundations and ceiling tiles and how to get those to play nice with your structures. So there's your basic triangle. You snap them all together and we get your basic hexagon. Don't need any explanations for that. But you can use that to make some interesting shapes. You can make non-symmetrical shapes using this. And as long as you follow the simple rule of doing the same number of foundations on one side as you do the other, they will always meet up when you finish. So in this case, I've got two foundations there. I put in one, two, three, four, so a total of six square foundations on that side. So as long as I put six foundations on this side, it doesn't really matter what order I put them in. Let's just do three and three. Now, I can meet up between these two structures and there you go. As long as you match the foundations between these two, the first two triangles on this side. So they have the same number of squares in any order you want. When you get done, you'll get a structure that will build fully. You can fill the whole interior with triangles. And uh, you can use whatever odd shape you need or want for your build. So Another issue we come up with these is, while they are the same width as the square foundation, they are not the same length. They're shorter. So one of the things to keep in mind is that 13 square foundations are the same length as 15 triangles and will snap on grid. So you could make a triangular shaped building if you so desired using triangle foundations with a nice flat wall on the end. Now you do come out with this odd finish here and because of the way the game mechanics work none of our structures can bridge this gap. And since you can't mesh your ceiling tiles anymore you're kind of stuck with it. So there's a few ways you can try to deal with that. In this one, I use some small boxes. It fills the hole, gives you a little extra storage. And you can just run back and forth. Uh, in this instance, I used some pillars. I just laid them on the side. These are the skinny pillars. These are the fat pillars. I used the triangular roof tiles. And then I went ahead and hid them behind a wall. I could do that. Uh, it's not as clean as it could be. Uh, the easiest and the most elegant solution I found is just to simply put a ramp over top. This is a full size. This is off the top of a quarter wall. And it cleans it up nicely. Alright, the next thing we're going to talk about is stacking the two shapes on top of each other. In this instance, I have a 3x3. Three three, and I've stacked a hexagon tower on top. Made a little watchtower out of it. I'll show you how to do that. It's pretty straightforward. There is uh, a little trick to it that will work out, but it's not hard. It's just a little thing that lets everybody flow nice. So we'll go ahead and get our walls up on my 3x3 platform. ceiling on. In this instance, if I want to be able to access the top, I'm going to have to use a hatch so I can get up there. Alright, and now I have my base. Now we have to get the rest of the structure. 
you look right there, you'll note I've got a pillar. What we're essentially doing is building a structure on a structure. So I'm going to put a pillar on either side of this to give my snap points. Now remember, we said the triangles in the same width as a square. So that hexagon is going to be the same width as these two sections between these pillars. You see, you can see four quarter ceilings there. So, if you pull the triangle ceiling out, you'll see that it wants to snap to the corner there. Well, that's a problem because it's the wrong direction. So to remedy that, what we're going to do is put a wall down and then put the triangle off the wall. Bring that over so it touches both pillars. Pick your wall back up. Now I've got the proper hexagon shape I want to finish my tower out. And now you can just put your walls in. Now this whole structure is supported by the pillars and the ceilings above. So if you take the ceiling tile off, you lose the wall. So there's something to keep in mind when you're building it. Because you're going to want to have to have a roof up high if you want to have access. So all you got to do is come up top. Get you a roof up. And then put a ceiling on top of that. And then you can just bring your wall back down. Um, you can't snap it off the bottom of that ramp. It's not going to want to do that. So you just bring out your wall, snap it, and pick the ceiling back up. And it'll stay. And then once you have that, you can bring down your wall. Just like that. And now you've got your tower. Just like I put up over there. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy. But what if I want to make a 2x2? Two two? We can do that as well. It's essentially the same. There's just a couple little key differences to keep it accessible. Um, as we know, the hexagon is the same width as the 2x2. Two two. So all we have to do is make sure we have access. So we'll go ahead and get my walls up. Now to make sure I can get access to the middle, I'm going to have to put a hatch frame in the middle. So we'll just pull out the quarter wall and line everything. That'll shrink it down for me. So I can get my hatch frame in. Now in this instance, the center is not going to work. Because I use quarters and the center is actually the middle. However, we don't need all that. All we have to do you snap it to either side of the hatch frame. Use the same trick to get the orientation of the triangle ceilings we wanted. Bring it over. And there you go. And then it builds the same as before. You're going to come up, get your walls on it. Don't forget you'll have to bring it back down just like we did on the other structure. Mm 
That way we have ladder access. And we still have our our walls. And you'll end up with that same tower as we built. Finally, what if I want to put a square structure on a hexagon foundation? Now normally, the easy thing is we put a pillar right in the middle of it. And then you just build off of that. The problem with that is, is it leaves a pillar in the middle of the room. But you don't actually need the pillar to stay there for the structure to stand. And the reason for that is because triangle foundations have a secret snap point. If you put your pillar down, and you put your ceiling up, and then bring down your wall on this seam in the triangle foundation. Look, these are two foundations. There's a seam that goes right down the fat side, the bottom part of that triangle. It's the same seam as you see here. There's two more there and there. The same seam that splits down the fat side is a snap point as far as the game is concerned. While you cannot find it on its own, once you've got a structure snapped over top of that seam, it no longer needs anything else. It is snapped to the triangle foundation. Now you can't snap anything to the non-seam side. And the only way to access that is by bringing your ceiling and then snapping off the ceiling. However, it does let you build a very nice square on top of your hexagon. And it's just as if you were on square foundations. Now you don't need the entire length of the wall to be supported. You can do this off of uh, any part. As long as you're laying down this seam, you're okay. So in this case, let's just come off of this side. We'll snap there. Oop, missed the foundation. Try that again. And we'll snap it right there. Now I'm half off the foundation, but I'm still on that seam right there. I take the pillar out of the way. And look at that. Hopefully this will help you with your builds. You guys can use your imagination and uh, mix and match all kinds of crazy things. Thanks for watching.